You run, 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 jump. He will zap you in the butt. So run, 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 jump. Now stop. <laughs> you'll, get, you'll get a nasty pain in your vector. <laughs> yeah, which is the title of this game. Yes. Um, I like this game. I like it. It's a 2D runner, obviously. Um, it mashes up Prince of Persia with Mirror's Edge. Yeah, that's that's what I felt like. I thought I was sort of expecting like you know a bit more of a thriller, like James Bond, like some sort of story, like an elevator action sort of thing. Yeah, and I, and instead it's just like you're running. The security guards after you. You better keep jumping. And I don't even think he's a security guard. I think he's like some sort of electric electrical <laughs> electrical conduit. Yeah, uh, you mean from like Half Life Two, like those? Oh no, those I mean guys? like uh, Half um, uh, Infamous. Oh okay. Yeah. Yeah, just I think it's a cool game. I just I feel like the, this sort of runner, it's like it's definitely a pick up and go. But I just feel like I couldn't come back to this one, even though it's there's nothing wrong with it. But I just find like it's, it's addicting. I find it addicting. You find it addicting? I, yeah. I just, I don't know. I just found like it was interesting, but sort of like okay, push up here, slide here, like it just. I felt like it just. Yeah, that's why I kind of found kind of the with same like, after a while. No, what I kind of found off same is same. like, like the levels are really quick. It's just sometimes I feel like the controls aren't obeying exactly. Yeah, what the input input delay or something like. There's yeah, something like because there are that sometimes like where I'm supposed to get a power up or like you, a you jump. And then, and then I you just jump again. Yeah. You double jump, and then you keep jumping, and then you smack against the wall. But yeah, but those are like some of the fun moments where it's like you're running, you're running, you're running, you're jumping. You're like, see, ya, asshole, yeah, well, and then you well, just well, slam face first into a wall and just. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best. I think that was my favorite moment in that whole. Yeah. Like, see you later, suckers. And then it's like. <laughs> this is like your some and you're falling down the is, side. Yeah, of this the is like something out of like a Roadrunner cartoon. This is like Roadrunner if it was brought into modern age. James Bond meets Roadrunner. Yeah. Yeah, I just I just feel like it's samey same. Like, yeah, you're running, sometimes it's big jumps, but like after five stages it's like I played this game. Like I feel like there's nothing else for me to do. Even if you unlock moves, you can't do them. That's what I felt. Like maybe you were missing how to do these moves, but like otherwise you buy these moves that you can't use as you play. So Yeah. Eh, it's okay. I mean, it's not the worst runner I've ever played, but I just find it's like, meh. I liked it. I just, it was I fun. I just don't find it fun. There's, like, you can it upgrade. Like your, you can unlock new tricks for you to pull off, which I think give you a really good edge in trying to run because sometimes it's like, oh, yeah, uh, you can just – it's an automatic jump. Yeah. I just feel like the graphics, you know, they're okay. I mean, that's the style, but – It's, a, it's like aesthetically fun, good. It's, yeah, I just feel like – I played this game for six stages and I feel like I played everything already. I don't know. Maybe it gets yeah. totally different and wacky, but... It gets... I do agree. It kind of gets a little stale after a while and you yeah. have to put the game down for like an hour or two to before like you can I can see again. myself coming back to it, but I wouldn't see myself playing it for hours. Like, it's just... It's just gets stale very quickly. That's what I found for me, at least. Yeah. It didn't sound bad. It didn't look bad. Just... It just... It's basic. Yeah. The basic running along, push up, slide down, get chased, bounce against get the wall, shocked, get shocked in the butt. And that's the best part about this game. As weird as it is to say, like just how your character responds, like <laughs> yeah, he just automatically <laughs> ragdolls. Yeah, you know, it's it's like that scene in you know, push it to the ground where the the, the hipster guy that's like, I'm not part of your system, and then he gets shocked in the butt, and then, like his reaction's like. <laughs> anyways, yeah. Yeah, I anyways, actually, I just—it's not amazing. I think if you get it for five bucks, sure, you know, maybe. I recommend this game for at least five dollars, at yeah, most. I, actually, I just—I just don't see it. Like one dollar per hour, I guess. That's how I see this. It's a nice vector, but it's not—it's uh, not a game that I would play forever. Now. So. Now, with that whole analogy of James Bond meets Roadrunner, now you got me thinking of, like, silhouettes of ladies just, like, <laughs> dancing around as the singer goes, Roadrunner, the coyote's after you. 
the run, shot that you run, get uh, in the butt. <laughs> if you catch you, your fruit. <laughs> you get it in the wrong vector. Dun, dun. And yeah, that's me. in the butt could hurt a lot. <laughs> and now we're gonna in go look butt. at. Now we're gonna look at a game that's been a long time coming. Yeah. Don't get that in the wrong vector. And who knows? Maybe we'll go off the rails. Every journey starts a new romance. Bad romance. All right. Keep on gaming, guys. Adios. And until next time, don't eat the potpourri.